so guys you know of the hijacking of obutelezi and yeah man it's not nice but at least happy that he's back and you know back and sound safe and sound also so we're going to look at what did vincent pule also say about this incident you know jay getting hijacked in general remember guti pule was hijacked also and there's something that he said last year he said guti if it does not happen to you who else you know uh, would you point to say it must happen to them I think these things happen. It's sad. You know, it's a sad moment. It could happen to anyone. I had to make sure Wuti I recovered from it. Speak to someone to make sure that this gets away. To make sure that uh, you, do, you do rehab, you know. And make sure that you come back inside the field. So, if you're not strong enough. If you don't believe that you're going to have a problem. So, for me, it was making sure Wuti I become stronger. Because this moment, moment makes you believe that these things, you know, uh, they do come and they pass. So, you just have to make sure Wuti your head is in the right space to make sure that you recover. Uh, you know, you do recovery, you do rehab so that you can make sure that you get back inside the field. So, yeah, man, I'm hoping Wuti the same will happen with Ukol Kipawe Pirates or Melus Telezi. You know, it's, it's very traumatic. Especially, like I said, if it's happening to him for the second second time it shows Wuti, that is not nice at all so i'm hoping Wuti is going to be strong now and recover from all of this and then come back as a stronger player and represent the team with regards to tomorrow's game to be honest with you ish, i'm not sure if he's going to be available you know i think uh, i don't think so i think they're going to give him some time off then maybe in the following games but not tomorrow's game uh, in all honesty you know and there is also some other news guys we're talking about a done deal we're going to talk about Utesha's Malepe a former Orlando Pirates former uh, Amazulu player uh, he has agreed to join e Richards Bay until the end of the season need I remind you Richards Bay is also struggling they're also fighting relegation so they need to sign and they've decided to sign who teshas malepe this is a story that has been covered by lorenz Kola from it is key times they're saying here that the former national um, under 23 captain parted ways with usutu in january uh, in the january window so he parted ways with amazulu and was linked with several clubs locally and broad and abroad you know but uh, it is key time understands that it is a short term deal with no option to extend as they look to retain their top flight status like i just said when i started this story they are fighting relegation so the player has signed but it's not a long-term contract so it's going to end at the end of the season and also uh there's no option to extend so i don't know how what that means they're saying that this 27 year old has over 140 appearances in the south african top flight and experienced playing in europe with ukrainian side efk minach so he has the experience and he is still 27 so i think even if they don't extend his contract or give him a new contract at the end of the season he is likely to get you know a new club because his age still allows him and the experience that he has wishing melusu butelezi a speedy recovery in terms of the traumatic experience that he went through i hope that is gonna be back and stronger 